inserted the SVG into my new project. So the first step is always to ungroup. So it's all selected there. Hit ungroup. Alright, now the next step is to change our labels into draw. Right now everything is cut. So I'm going to just change or hide all of these layers so you can see it a little bit better. And so this whole group is all letters. So you can see right here under the line type, now it's cut. I'm just going to change that to draw. And now click on the layer above it and I have all these draw lines plus the one cut line that's my label all together. And just go ahead and hit attach. Great, and now that shelf is ready to cut that label. So I'm going to close that so we don't need to see it. And I can close all these again. Those are all the labels. I'll hit the group. Go up here, line type to draw. Select the group, attach. Now the two labels are ready. Now the next step right here, I know it looks a little bit strange that they're all in black, but all we have to do is actually select this whole group and change it from cut to draw. Now that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? And then right below it, hold down your shift key, select, and attach. Great, and now our backing will cut and draw correctly. And if you would like to make it look a little bit prettier, you can just drag that down so you can see the shelves again. And that's all we need to do. It's ready to make now. So I'll we'll go ahead and click make it. Remember, since you're cutting corrugated cardboard, you cannot have the edges go all the way over to the sides. You need to have at least an inch on the side. So you have room to tape down your material and move those tracks out of the way. You don't want to get it, um, the material ruined. So we are just going to move this to a new mat here. And I'm actually going to just put it on pink. Why not? Turn it to the side here. If you hold down shift, it will side here. Hold on shift, it will be straight, but you have to have it more so on the mat than I did at first. Alright, and a lot of my material is 2 to 10 inches wide. Um, that's just the size of my boxes. So I'm going to tape it like this, cut it like this, and make it. Now I'm assuming that you have already tested your corrugated cardboard and the pen you're going to use on the actual material. Because I have learned the hard way not to ruin material by not doing a test cut. So I'm just going to go to mat board. Um, I'm finding for my cord cardboard uh, four passes is about right. Uh, make sure you've tested yours and a little bit less pressure actually for the pen too. And I will load my material and make it.